Hey guys, what's up? Andre here from PSD Box. Welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to create the high key effect in Photoshop using calculations. It's not properly a, a tutorial, it's just more like an explanation of how I use this because what I would really like is to give you the action that I created to make this kind of effects. Uh, it's a free action that you can download from uh, from my website, from my resources website, um, resources.psdbox.com. And um, this is the effect that we will get. Actually, there's more than one layer here, uh, depending uh, on the brightness of your image, so you can get different results. But uh, this is the original image that I started with. So I want to show you how I created this and how to use the calculations. So I hope you will like it, and let's get started. So before I show you how I got these effects uh, using calculations, I want to show you how this action works. So the first thing that you need to do is go to my website, resources.psdbox.com. You'll have the link on my website and also on the video description. And download this action, which is called High Key. Uh, it's also in Spanish, so well. And what you do in order to have it here on this panel is first go to Window, choose Actions. And here on this top right icon, choose this. And from the drop-down menu, select Load Actions and look for the for this uh, file that you downloaded from from the website. And you'll have it here. And if you want to play it, just hit Play here, and the action will start to make this effect for you. It's really quick. It just takes like a second or two to make this. So uh, as you can see, the action creates this group, and inside the group there are four layers for high key, one, two, three, and four. And uh, here you have different brightness levels. And the reason we have different brightness levels, see this one is too bright, this one is looking not bad, and this one looks even better. The reason why I have different brightness values is because not every image is the same. Some images are a bit darker, some images are a bit brighter, and with this, I wanted to cover pretty much any kind of image situation <laughs> or however, however you want to call it. If for some reason none of these layers suits your need and you want a brighter tone than the ones that you have available here or something a bit darker, what you can do is use um, blend modes and also use opacities. So for example, let me show you. Let's assume I want this image to be a bit darker, have darker shadows. What you could do is use the HK4, which is the darkest one, and use, for example, the multiply blend mode, and this will make your darks even darker. Or you can use soft light, and this will make the um, shadows a bit um, a bit darker and make the highlights brighter and you get a bit more contrast. Also, uh, for example, let's leave this to multiply and uh, drop the opacity to, let's say, 32%. And then you can also activate the three layer, layer three, which is the brightest one, and just drop the opacity slightly or use the light and blend mode, for example, or some other blend mode, um, luminosity, I don't know how this works. So um, yeah, it looks nice. So you can make combinations. Uh, the blend modes that work uh, best are multiply, to darken the image and also overlay and soft light to increase the contrast and make the image slightly darker. Also, yeah, as you can see, the luminosity, screen and lighten work to make the image brighter. So that's how you can combine these levels to, uh, this layer, sorry, to get the desired amount of light or shadows on the image. Now let me show you a bit how I created this action and how I used calculations to create this kind of effect. So uh, let's go first into the channels and you will see the H, K, 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the channels that I created. Let me delete them. And uh, we're working on the RGB space, of course. And here we have the channels red, green and blue. And each of, it, of these channels has its own brightness values. So red usually is the brightest one, green is somewhere in the middle, and the blue is the one that gives you more, more contrast. So what you do is go to image and choose calculations. And what calculations does is it blends these uh, channels here. So you have source one, source two, and the blend. 
and here you can select any of the channels that you want to blend and here you have the blend mode that you want to, that you can use um, on source one and source two you can see this is the name of the document the first uh, menu here the first item here is the name of the document if you have several documents opened you can combine the you can combine the layers of different documents here you can see the layer list in this case i only have the background because on the layers i only have the background if i have like multiple layers here i would see all the layers that i have on my document and if i have multiple documents open here i can see different well the different documents that i have opened so i could i could blend different uh, channels from different documents if i if i want to so the first thing that i did is i chose the green channel from the current document and then on source 2 I set the blue channel this one is more uh, green and blue are the ones that give you a bit more contrast and then I used a blend mode that gave me more light which was the screen blend mode and boom there you have it one high key effect um, so let's click OK this is one of our high key effects on channels here you can see alpha one the reason why you see alpha one here which is the new channel that we created is because here on the calculations panel i have set the result to a new channel you can also make this to be a selection or to make a new document if you want to let's leave it on new channel for the second one i chose the alpha one that i just created and then i combined it with the blue channel and this gave me um, something a bit not as bright as the previous result but I also uh, wanted to create a mask here you can see the opacity and the mask the opacity is the amount well of effect that you get from the from the blend result if you set it to zero the only thing that you will see is source 2 without without source 1 so as you start to increase the the opacity let's say 20 you're saying that take 20% of the alpha one and blend it with the blue using the screen blend mode. So at 50%, you're just using 50% of the brightness values of alpha one. This could be a bit complicated. This, uh, you can use the calculations to create some really complex uh, selections, but uh, I just wanna give you a, a quick explanation of how this works. So for the second uh, effect, I chose alpha one blue, uh, set it on screen at 50%. And then I also used the mask and I used the alpha one as mask. And you can see that it changes a bit. Uh, it gives you a bit more contrast. Okay. And I created, I clicked okay. And then I had the second one and so on. You can continue and blend different channels and uh, get different res uh, results. Then just press control command A, control command C, go to the layers, create a new layer and paste this on top of your, well, here on your layers uh, palette and here have it as a layer. One other interesting that you can do if you want to have this effect, uh, not in black and white, but with color is use one of the channels that the action creates. Let's use this alpha one that I just created is press control command click on alpha one uh, thumbnail here and what you do is just load the selection so just like a layer mask when you control click it then go to your layers create a new layer the selection is still active and here set press the d key on the keyboard to um, to reset your colors to black and white and set the foreground color to white and with this selection still active uh, press alt or option and backspace to fill the selection with white and now you have to invert the selection by pressing shift control i or going to uh, select inverse and here now change the foreground color to be black and alt backspace again to fill the selection with black and what you do here is uh, create a semi-transparent layer filled with black and white because the colors that we had there on the channels, these ones are not pure black and white. You have this gray is a soft transition. So that's why you get this uh, high key effect, but with some color on it. And here, well, you can also try blend modes if you want. Uh, screen works, looks nice. And the light and also looks pretty nice. So if you want to have high key effect in color, you can use uh, these techniques or you can duplicate this and use other blend modes then and just uh, let your imagination um, 
go wild and just try blend modes and opacities and stuff like that. So that's how I created uh, this action. Again, let me apply it again. And there you have your layers and you can apply this to any image you want. All you need to do is just open it in Photoshop and play the action and uh, make the combinations that you want here. So I hope you like this. Um, as I said, it's not properly a tutorial, but um, rather an explanation of how this works and how I created this action. I hope you will find it useful. And if you post your images on Instagram, use the hashtag PSDbox and uh, they will appear on, our, on the social uh, wall here on our website. So uh, I'm Andrei and see you next time. Thank you.